Hi, my name is Deborah Henney. I'm a wife, author, mother, speaker. Today I want to release a prophetic word dated as July 20th in my prophetic journal called Swim Deeper. And I felt the Lord say, Swim Deeper. I'm calling my people and long for my people to enter into greater depths of my spirit. Let my presence wash over you and surround you. Lose your, yourselves in the waves of my glory. Greater levels of purity and holiness are required to swim in the deeper depths. I am calling my people deeper and working deeply in their hearts to prepare them for the swells of the waves and the strength of the movement. There is a forward pushing in the wave, a tsunami-like force that radiates forth from the spoken words of my heart. It has the power to demolish all strongholds and propel my people into the character and the call I have on their lives, provided they remain aligned with the movement of my word. Let it push you forward. Let it push you deeper. Don't push back against the wave, though it is weighty. It is imperative that you let my holiness swirl about you and remove impurities that cling to you. Greater levels of victory require greater levels of purity. I am purifying my people so there can be victory in their lives and victory in my church. I am restoring to my church great victory, which will be evidenced by supernatural workings that will bring healing and deliverance to many because I will bring victory through my church in this time. The path to victory is purity. Remain in the wave of my holiness, my word, my spirit, so I can wash and propel you into greater depths and supernatural victory. So this was a, a word that I got. And at first I just kind of had the sense of being washed over and overwhelmed uh, by, by the presence and the holiness and the spirit of God. Um, and then as I kept, as the word kept coming, it was this sense of that tsunami like force. It was so powerful and so, so overwhelming to all of the senses. It, it like, you could just tell that if you let it, if you allowed it, because God doesn't force anything, he invites and he, he sets it all up so we can go there, but he never forces. So if we allow God to do this in our lives, there's no stronghold that's going to be able to withstand. It is going to demolish everything. And, and at the same time, as is demolishing the strongholds, propel us forward into the callings and the destinies that he has for us. And through that, through that purification and that holiness process that he's bringing about in our lives, which will bring victory to us on an individual level, his promise here through this word is that the victory that he works in our lives is going to be made a victory into other in other people's lives. And so the sense was, go with it. Go with the movement of my word. My word is moving. It's living. It's active. It's doing. It's working. It's going. Go with it. And with that, allow that holiness, that purification process, even though maybe it's hard. Maybe um, it's pushing you into areas that you're not comfortable with. Maybe it's uh, calling you to go into places in your heart that you'd rather just kind of leave off to the side and leave it alone. But whatever it is, go with it. Go there because the incredible workings that God wants to do through that, it's, it's like we don't even have a place in our brain for it. And that's a phrase I'm borrowing from a friend, which I love. We don't even have a place in our brain for the incredible victory that he wants to work in our individual lives and through that, in those 
areas of victory that we gain authority in, the amazing, immense, supernatural, miraculous power that God wants to bring through that for other people is just mind-blowing. I cannot wait to see it. I believe, you know, of course, it's like a process, right? So we gain authority, we gain victory, and then we walk out in that power. And then we gain more and more, and it just keeps going as as we allow it to go in our lives. Um, let's see here. Restoring to my church great victory. And when I got that phrase in particular, I immediately thought of the early church and all of the incredible things that they saw, that they did. And I think, God, I want that. I want more of that in the church. More of that evidence of your power through every single person in the church. Not just this minister or that minister or this meeting or that meeting. Everybody, every single believer has that available to us if we're willing to go there with God. Um, so let's go for it. Oh, many deliverance, bringing healing and deliverance. Yes, Lord, we all need it. Um, victory for purity. Greater levels of victory require greater levels of purity. And I have always been a big Jason Upton fan. Um, I remember seeing him for the first time or even hearing about him for the first time live in Washington, D.C. at a big prayer gathering that we had at the mall. And I remember just being wowed by the anointing and the power that came off of his, his offerings of music to the Lord. And he has a song where he says, There is no victory without hearts of purity. There is no victory without hearts of purity because it's in that place where we truly, because in order to have that purity in the Lord, we need to fully surrender and fully, uh, yeah, fully yield into God because it's not our working. It's not our power. It's not our skill. It's not our qualifications. It's about, are we surrendered? Because when I'm surrendered, then it's not me doing it. Because trust me, you don't want me doing it. You want God doing it. Because an amazing encounter with a human being can be incredible. It can be wonderful. But true transformation that goes all the way down to your guts and lasts for eternity only comes in the presence of God. So let's do it. Let's swim deeper and go deeper and deeper into the depths of his presence where there are mysteries abound, where you can never reach the end. It is deeper than the deepest trenches in the ocean and more wondrous and more mysterious. So let's go there. Let's do it. Let's see God's victory in our lives that'll propel us into our destinies and bring victory not only for us, but for those around us. Be blessed.